Doug C here, and today we have another MRE ration review. And today we have menu 17, Sloppy Joe from 2005. I did the case A and case B unboxing in 2005, and I've been trying to get through these menus. So excited to review this for two reasons. One, I want to know what MRE Sloppy Joe is all about. And two, it reminds me of one of my uh, funny songs with the Adam Sandler Sloppy Joe song. So let's get inside and see what we got. Okay, we have menu 17, Sloppy Joe from Warnick Company. Um, I don't know if there's a date code on these, but this is from my 2005. It's got the peelable seal. Let's see what we got. Actually worked out pretty good. Oh, wow. And the shortbread cookies again. It's weird. And we have beverage powder, carbohydrate, electrolyte, orange. It's weird that's a different packaging I'm used to. And our FRH. Hot beverage bag. There it is. Sloppy Joe filling. And we've got the cheese spread with jalapenos. Be pretty good. We got a wheat snack bread. And I don't know if I've seen Pangea. I've never seen that brand before. That's interesting. We got bake snack crackers. Look at this. We got Two accessory kits. Wham! That's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna keep one now. I won't open it. But yeah, two accessory kits. We have our MRE spoon. And we have another snack bread. So they actually give you two snack breads to have a sandwich. That's really cool. Or you can do a two open face. Since we did get two accessory kits, I will be keeping one as my souvenir collection, but we'll open this one up. We got TP. Got some gum. It looks kind of smashed or discolored. So that's pretty interesting. And we got a little Tabasco sauce, but it's actually, if you look at the box, it's like gone. So that's really interesting. I don't know if it evaporated or just, I don't know. We got some white tip matches or pink tip maybe. We got our moist towelette. Domino sugar. Got some salt. Non dinner creamer. Some taster's choice. We're going to open this Sloppy Joe filling up, make sure the pouch is okay. Like I said, this stuff is 15 years old, so currently we just got to make sure that be cautious as with anything. The pouch looks okay. No bloat, no denamination. Awesome. Go ahead and get that warmed up with some hot water for the coffee and then uh, get everything else opened up. All right, we have our Taster's Choice Red. We've got our coffee made up. Make sure that we don't get any dry rot. Oh, dropped it. Okay, looks pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. So we get that mixed up, set aside. The uh, smells pretty good too. But, like I said, I just had the 2011 packs. These are a little bit older. These are the 2005. So, we'll see. Should have held up all right. We'll mix up our beverage powder, carbohydrate, electrolyte, orange. It's a lot to say. Big old bag. Oops. Made a mess. That's okay. Got 12 ounces of water. Not that mixing, much mixing that one. Right, set that up. Okay, so we got our drinks made up. Really interested to see the snack bread. So we got two pieces of the full pieces of snack bread instead of the twin pack. Take a look at these. Wow, look at that. Doesn't look like the, the bread shape. It actually just looks like a square. Smells 
very similar to the original snack bread. It said it's got 15 years of age on it, and uh, they say they've got five years of shelf life. These actually look like they held up really well. Nothing really wrong with that. Very cool, um, just being squares like that. Okay, so I hid the shortbread cookies before, and the chicken and salsa. So hopefully they did not smell terrible in this batch, but we'll see. They smell much better, but still pretty... It might, I don't know, it's just like a almost a packaging flavor. It might be something one of the items in there. Then we have a new item from the older collection. This is a baked snacked cracker. Probably like a cheese it. We'll see. Not too bad. Yep, it looks like a cheese it. We'll take a smell. They smell okay. Kind of beat up. Then we have the jalapeno cheese again, pretty dark. Go ahead and put some on the cheese cracker, give it a shot. A little discoloration. Okay, the jalapeno cheese tastes fine, so is the snack cracker, but I want to try it by itself. I just wanted to test out the cheese, make sure it was okay. But this is the baked uh, cheddar cracker. The baked cheddar cracker actually tastes like a regular cracker at this time. The cheese flavor is almost fully dissipated out of it. Uh, I don't know if it obviously because of age, maybe. But it's literally like biting into an MRE cracker. Very, very little taste at all. I'll go ahead and wash it down with this Carbohydrate Electrolyte drink. Okay, the orange drink is very refreshing, very light. Uh, actually, I actually really enjoy it. It's not too uh, sweet. All right, we're going to try these shortbread cookies. I'm hoping they lasted better than the other from the chicken and salsa menu. These shortbread cookies actually held up pretty well. They're a lot better. They taste a lot better than the other uh, menu. So that's interesting how they vary. Uh, I believe they were from the same case, if I'm not mistaken. No, that was actually case A. This is case B. So these are different as far as those. They're still from 2005, still probably from the same crate, but they have different um, box originations. So I'm going to try this coffee. This is the Taster's Choice Red. Coffee is very bold, very rich, um, good flavor. And like I said, I really enjoy the Taster's Choice Red packs from... Looks like from 2005, from 2011. Um, now we have our main. It's all warmed up. It's a sloppy Joe filling. It's got the retort pouch top. Go ahead and open it up right here and take a look at it. Give it a smell. It smells really like uh, sloppy Joe. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Good old like Sloppy Joe. I was very interested when I seen this menu because I used to eat this when I was a kid, when I was younger. So when I seen an Amory, I had to, I was excited to try it. So we're going to try it by itself. Just the sauce, it is kind of warm, but Sloppy Joe from Amory. Okay, the Sloppy Joe by itself has the, the perfect zest from the original flavors. It, it, you know, like uh, just like I was growing up as a kid, it tastes exactly the same. I do notice the bits of meat are kind of chewy so that's very interesting almost like a steak bite to them uh, but go ahead and put some on some bread and we'll try it out and then we'll add some cheese to it there's all kinds of options you could do you could crack um if the cheese crackers were sitting better and tasted better i probably would put those in there but i'm, I'm not sure if i will yet or not but this is actually going to be the sloppy joe on the snack bread oh that's perfect the, sl the sloppy joe sauce on the bread because the sloppy joe by itself, it's got a, quite a tang to it. Put on the bread, it kind of dampens it down, and it pairs really well. And this snack bread is no joke. I mean, it's it's dense, and it's very thick. It's, uh, man, it, I know the original snack bread's pretty thick, but this is even, feels like it's obviously more dense and uh, more dry. So now we're going to add it, some hot cheese, some jalapeno cheese, to this and see what we got. So we'll try the open face sloppy joe with some cheese added on. Oh yeah, that was MVP. I believe. I'm gonna try one more thing. So when you put the sloppy joe sauce on the bread, it pairs really well. You throw the cheese on it, you got yourself a mega combo. Really enjoyed that. Almost couldn't stop eating it. And I'm pretty much I'm almost finished that one piece. 
it was uh, very, very delicious. And I say this is really good sloppy joe. So I'm going to take some of the crumbled up portions of the cracker and throw them over in here. Should have just dumped it in there and begin with. And just trying to see if I can get a, a crunchy texture to the sloppy joe right here. And give go for a megabyte. Well, if we're going to go for a megabyte, we're going to throw some of this cheese on there too. There we go. Right. Mix it all up and get a good bite. Nope, the snack bread was definitely better. The crackers just don't have enough density or you know to really combat that tanginess of the sauce. And that it might be because the, the crackers are stale or they lost that sharp cheddar flavor. But still, the snack bread is the best pair for that. So overall, really good ration. Really excited to get to try this out. And uh, we'll talk more in final thoughts. Final thoughts on menu 17 Sloppy Joe from 2005. It's really interesting to taste something I had my, from my childhood. Um, and it was really good. The component as far as the main itself had a really good flavor. The Emory came with an additional accessory pack, which is really awesome. I thought that was pretty funny. It's probably one of the first times I've opened an MRE and had a packaging issue, so that was pretty cool. Um, but back to the, the ration itself, the shortbread cookies, they held up better than the other 2005 menu that I had, um, but they still not one of my favorite things. The big ch cheddar crackers actually did not hold up, in my opinion. The flavor was totally, like, gone from them. They actually tasted just like plain crackers, and I know that typically cheese it or cheese crackers have a strong ch cheddar flavor to them. The snack bread from I think it was Pangea. That's the first time I've, I think I've had that snack bread, but it was like thicker, more dense, and it had better flavor, and it held up better, um, you know, with the main. So that was really interesting. The coffee was fantastic. Always a big fan of the coffee, and then the orange drink, um, very very subtle, good orange flavor, good refreshing drink. So overall. Not bad. And for 15 years old, not bad at all. It's really, uh, like I said, I just love opening all their uh, MREs and kind of seeing what it's all about. So that's all I got now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.